hours. They are bringing the full scope of all of Milton's damage into focus right now. Have a look at some of these images. The storm surge, though less than expected, thankfully for so many people. It still, though, landed with a powerful punch, with some areas seeing a surge of more than five feet over normal high tides. St. Petersburg experienced a one in a 1,000 year rainfall. The Naples hit their second highest watermark on record ever. Water rescue teams were busy overnight and throughout the day, as you can imagine. We had people that evacuated here to make sure they were safe. These are people that live day to day and they have nothing. Some roads are still dangerous due to flooding, debris, and potential downlines. Do not risk it. Well, it wasn't just hurricane force winds and storm surge wreaking havoc and causing at least 10 deaths statewide. At one point in St. Lucie County, three twisters hit the ground in less than 25 minutes, according to an analysis of National Weather Service data. These are big twisters, too. Oh, my too. goodness. And take a look at this video we're about to show you from Tropicana Field. This is the home of the Tampa Bay Rays baseball team. The roof was completely torn off by hurricane force winds. The stadium was built in 1990. It was designed to withstand a Category 3 storm with winds of 115 miles per hour. Now take a look at the inside. It was supposed to host thousands of linemen and National Guard members as they prepared to respond to damage from the storm. But a spokesman for Florida's governor says the staging area, thankfully, had been relocated before the roof was damaged. Wow. And more video that you have to see. A crane collapsed in St. Petersburg right into the offices of the Tampa Bay Times, the local newspaper in the area. You can see that mangled crane smashed into the side of the building and concrete and debris everywhere. The building was closed at the time, so no one was hurt when that crane crashed down.